what is up youtube my name is Alita and welcome back to my channel the indian algo and in today's video we'll be discussing about the exact reason why the imbalance is filled in the market okay why this imbalance or liquidity void is filled by the market or why is it created so we'll uh, understand all of that in depth also i know this video is going to be in english because i've already made this video in hindi so this is for everyone who have been asking for uh, my videos to be in english so don't worry guys i won't leave uh, anyone behind and i'll try to put up as much content as possible from my side in hindi english or probably i'll try to switch to uh, putting in subtitles for uh, the coming videos all right so uh, let's let's proceed with today's topic so first of all what is an imbalance so imbalance is simply this move so let's say how the market moves and how the market moves right so let's say in a downtrend it will move something like this there's a down move up move down move up move down move up move and then suddenly you will see some momentum kicking in so this momentum guys this momentum is what we call liquidity void or imbalance this is where the market is an imbalance this is a balance between sellers and buyers this is a balance between sellers and buyers balance 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 but here if you see there are only sellers so this means that there is some sort of imbalance that is created by the market right there is some sort of imbalance that is created by the market now the definition that is available on the internet or everywhere is this that whenever the market is an imbalance the market has to come back in a balance okay so whenever there is imbalance the market has to come back up to uh, to create balance in this particular environment but that is not the case there is something very important that a lot of people uh, do not uh, probably know or don't actually understand how to use it very well and uh, this is what we'll be discussing in this video all right so let's say the market creates imbalance so now imbalance is there are multiple types of imbalance that is created by the market like there is multiple uh, patterns how an imbalance is created so let's say this is a straight fall all right this is a straight fall so whenever there is a straight fall obviously this imbalance sometimes won't be filled this way okay the prices may come back to the 50 percent and then fall something like this this and then maybe go back up sometime later but focusing on this type of imbalance if you see here this is where sometimes the market creates some imbalance here and then the market creates some highs some short term liquidity so if you see the this is the short term liquidity this is the short term liquidity and where do i have the imbalance i have the imbalance here so now what is the whole purpose of this imbalance and what is the whole purpose of this liquidity let's try to understand this in a very different uh, manner or, or from a very different perspective so what the market does here is it creates imbalance okay it creates imbalance so now all of this thing is created by the algorithm created by the algorithm so this imbalance is created by the algorithm this liquidity is created by the algorithm this is where the price probably comes here and let's say you have a bullish order block here all right let's say you have a bullish order block so this is your down candle and this is your up candle let's say this is your bullish order block this is where the prices will come back sorry whenever the prices are right here the algorithm will try to identify liquidity the whole purpose of algorithm is to identify liquidity hunt liquidity and run towards imbalance okay this is the whole purpose of the algorithm this is everything guys this is everything here so now if you see when the prices are here and your bias is bullish and when i try to understand what just happened on the left side this is created by the algorithm so the algorithm knows where the short term liquidity and the recent active liquidity is lying and how does it know that he it tries to identify the recent created imbalance which is here all right so the this is created by the algorithm 
and then all of this is created by the algorithm all right so it becomes very easy for the algorithm then to identify the imbalance and take advantage of all of this liquidity to move the prices in its direction now this liquidity simply does not mean that every time the prices are here it will hunt and the prices will fall lower no the market will the algorithm will take advantage of this liquidity so whenever people are selling here obviously they are putting buy stops here putting buy stops here putting buy stops here buy here and buy stops here right so now when the algorithm is sorry when the prices are here and the algorithm wishes to push the prices up obviously they accumulate positions here they accumulate positions here and when the prices in is and when the prices are rising up and it's going in their direction these orders by these buy orders will push the prices much higher so now if i go to any of the charts let's say let's go to bajaj auto and let's go to daily time frame all right so we'll try to identify the imbalance that are being created i'll remove all of this all right so if you see here this is where the imbalance was created and these are all the liquidity that is created by the market this is all the liquidity that is created by the market so once we identify this imbalance this is where the prices will go back up all right this is where the price will go back up obviously we have some sort of distribution base and this is the supply zone this is the supply zone hence this is where we were supposed to book our profits so the markets will obviously reach to those levels and then give you another reaction so this is what we were supposed to be doing here now if i go to tata motors let's go to tata motors so here if you see there was a very recent good fall that was created by the algorithm if you see look at this imbalance this is what i'm talking about if we see this Im imbalance we have to give price enough time to create some sort of liquidity and once the liquidity is created we can then start looking for up moves from a desired order block which is here if you see there is this down candle before an up candle if we i simply mark the open of the down candle this is where it got tested and this is the move so we can definitely um, uh, what do you call it? predict all of this but the most important thing here is to understand that whenever the price creates imbalance let it create some highs let it accumulate around this area and then it will definitely move higher most of the time it will definitely move higher because of the imbalance that is created here all of this is being created by the algorithm so the whole purpose of your uh, of of the institutions is to identify liquidity all right so if is to identify liquidity hunt liquidity identify imbalance and then move in the direction of that particular direction so if i go to uh, forex let's open euro usd all right let's open euro usd this is the daily time frame chart right this is the daily time frame chart what do we have here all right so the imbalance is being created by this move this is where the liquidity is so let's go to one hour time frame okay now uh, this is something that i wouldn't prefer this is something that i wouldn't prefer the types of uh, liquidity that the types of imbalance that i want to look on the charts is this where the market creates some imbalance and then there is some sort of curd uh, highs okay so this is where i can simply expect a very straight up move i like trading all of this this can be a good liquidity run for me okay but if the prices are creating good supply zones here good supply zones here obviously they will react to it right so we don't want that so in this case i wouldn't have preferred a uh, trading anyway here okay so let, let me see if we have any good examples all right so some somewhere this looks good all of this imbalance liquidity liquidity the price will move higher come back up and fill the imbalance so now this imbalance will be filled only this imbalance will be filled only if i see some good liquidity okay only if i see some good good liquidity only then i would prefer trading though these imbalances if i do not see anything as such 
if you see this is a very good scenario this is one of the best scenario imbalance being created here and this is how the prices are moving higher all of these lows have liquidity so all you have to do then is identify your point of interest and then take trades accordingly once you identify that obviously this got filled till here but yes once you identify your um, point of interest and understand this up move here you can definitely take a short trade this is how the market works so if i have to go to a lower time frame all right if i have to go to a lower time frame let's try to identify the same move see now this is the type of imbalance after which the prices will create liquidity all of this is liquidity liquidity so i wouldn't prefer trading all of this because usually the markets go sideways so what i would prefer again is this thing uh, let me see if we have anything here okay yep this thing i would prefer this thing where we have imbalance here we have where we have created this liquidity some good sort of liquidity and this is where we, we I, I would probably look for shorting the market all right i guess that was the same chart right let's go to indian stocks okay so nifty guys if you look at nifty nifty is doing the same thing nifty is doing the same thing if you come here look at the imbalance that is created by nifty nifty has created this imbalance and then we have some good highs some good highs so definitely all the stocks very soon you will be seeing uh you will you'll get to see that these stocks will start running back up these stocks will uh, start running back up probably one more liquidity hunt and this is where we can start looking for longs once again so the market will be in another uh, like in in a bull run probably here or probably from uh, after these areas are taken out but this is very clearly a good uh, area of liquidity everyone is selling here everyone is selling here everyone is selling here so that makes no sense for us to uh, sell at at a point where there was previously demand had occurred okay so we don't want to do this instead what we are waiting for is the prices to do some accumulation here show us some signs of wyckoff and then we can simply uh, look for a good long now i wouldn't have entered this imbalance if like this is the imbalance that i want to trade but what if the market would have fell something like this i wouldn't have entered uh, uh, this imbalance even though it was at my demand zone i wouldn't have do that i would wait for the prices to accumulate probably create some highs because the institution need liquidity it not only needs imbalance but it also needs liquidity so if there is no liquidity there is no reason for the prices to fill imbalance and the most active liquidity if you see is here is right here so we are expecting uh up moves very soon in nifty all right so that's how it is guys uh the if i repeat once again the algorithm creates imbalance the algorithm creates these short-term highs and this is where they accumulate hunt liquidity and they they do a run on liquidity to fill the imbalance so that's the whole reason why an imbalance is filled not only because it just wants to uh, uh, create a balance in the market but the whole purpose behind filling an imbalance is to take advantage of this liquidity and then fill the imbalance all right so this is where i end the video guys i hope you like the video and um, yes so there's a free discord uh, server link provided in under this um, video's description so please go ahead have a look i i share charts there i share pre analysis post analysis everything and also clear your doubts it's because that's a very easy platform to share everything right so you all can join the discord server also guys don't forget to like the video share the video and subscribe to the channel it's very important as soon as we reach a uh, thousand subscribers i will start uh, doing few live streams where i'll be uh, discussing the charts uh, 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 prior to the market opens and something like that we'll be doing something very fun guys so please make sure that you have subscribed to the channel and yes thank you so much